Hello guys, Happy New Year to you all, unless you work for the Daily Mail, in which case my wife says you should rot in hell. Bit of slightly disappointing news for you, our charitable foundation Archwell brought in less than $50,000 in donations this past year. Whoops, bit of a surprise really, given that my wife and I spent a lot of the past 12 months promoting the charity internationally. But there it is, unfortunately that's the reality. Archwell received less than $50,000 in donations. That's definitely a genuine, honest figure, and our accountants have worked very hard to make sure the IRS aren't going to question it. I mean, my wife and I are so popular that we managed to secure multi-million dollar deals with Netflix, Spotify and HarperCollins. But our huge popularity doesn't seem to have extended to people wanting to donate to our charitable foundation. No one is more baffled than I am as to why so little money came into Archwell. I mean, from the outside, the whole thing probably looks a little bit suspect, a bit dubious, but we've filed our tax return and it's all there in black and white. No need for the IRS to investigate any further. Everyone knows that my wife and I are incredibly virtuous people. And the important thing is that personally, we're still loaded, even though our charitable causes won't be receiving quite as much money as we thought they would this year. From now on, we're going to work doubly hard on trying to generate donations for the Archwell Foundation. We've learned a hell of a lot about scrounging money off of people this year, and we're going to put all that experience and expertise into play in the months ahead. Let me reiterate that my wife and I will continue to care very deeply about this planet and its people because humanitarianism is very much our brand and it's proven to be a very lucrative one. Kindness is something that enriches all our lives, but my wife and I have mastered the dark art of actually monetizing it because we're just a bit better than you.